pew pew. Hey guys, Creepydubber here, and welcome back to more Midway Arcade Treasures on the GameCube. In the last episode, we final we took a dive into the last two games that are on the left side of the screen, and those games were Paperboy and Rampage. And today, we're finally moving to the second half of the games on the right side, and we're going to be starting off with Rampart and Road Blasters. Now, Rampart is actually um, known, I believe, as the first or one or one of the first good um, tower defense games. So, if you like like games like Bloom's Tower Defense, you have this game to thank for it. Um, but I'm gonna check the options real quick. Oh, okay. I did not want to go back there. Let's look at some history. How Rampart got started. Well, wow, this might seem interesting. John and Dave started working on Ramparts um, after we did class, right? Right. Yeah, and so they they were trying they were messing around with Tetris puzzle pieces, and in their typical style, they came up with a totally unique approach to this game and, and something that sounds very interesting. But I don't care. So basically, this is a tower defense game. Except you control the things that shoot too, so. Wait for the game to start. There we go. Rampart, a game of strategy and survival. 1990. This is a little bit of an er, um, earlier game. Uh, er, um, later game, is what I mean. I can't speak, I don't have speech patterns. Prepare for battle, shoot at enemy ships. Well, there are no cannons in that area, but that means that the logo is going to get destroyed. This is just the credits for the game. The Wall Boys. They only go up in increments of one. Not even one of them is 5,000. If you get exactly 5,000, that's still beating the default high score. So you basically what you do is you build. Yeah, right here. Build and repair. So you surround the castles and you repair the holes. So you make do with whatever you got. And you can try to make the rooms bigger if you wish. Like uh, the person who has the blue here. It's making his rooms a little bit bigger. Because now he has more area. Then, you do the second part. After you build your tower, or repair it, you place the cannons inside the castle walls. And then you do this. You fire. Prepare for battle. Shoot at enemy walls. Ready, aim, fire. This is basically just the fundamentals of the game. The way you lose is by not being uh, fast enough to repair your um, little area that you're protecting. Because if you can't do that, then you're done. So, I'm going to go here. And since I have the controller in the first slot, I am the blue player. I'm just going to make this go down faster. Recruit or veteran. And I would like to not kill myself, so... So basically right now it's telling, it's telling you, hey, make your castle somewhere, blue army. So I'm going to make it right here, I guess. Now i got to place the cannons. And all I have is three. So you want to place them in a, like an order that leaves room. So don't put them in like the middle of spaces, because then it'll be a little bit harder for you to be able to... Uh, Live a good life, I'll say. And right now, he's telling us, cease fire. So now, 
we can't fire at each other. But that's what happened to me. So now I gotta repair this. Doing whatever I can to do it. I get it, dude. Kinda screwed up, so uh... There. Bam. <laughs> Construction points, castle points, that's all I get. I, but I'm still standing. And now I get to put in more cannons. Only two more, but still. Roger. Um. Ah. Well, I almost got all of them. Blue Army Conquers. You didn't have to keep going, music. Surround castle to stay alive. Oh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Brother, um, fire! Basically, now all you do is you just keep doing what you were doing before. Screw off ship. Oh no. Basically everything was torn down except for one area of the wall. That's nice. Should probably put that there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I have done horribly. I am done. Yep, done for. Yep. I can continue and get more cannons, but I'm not going to continue, because that's dumb. And you actually have to wait. Blue player, game over. That was like perfectly in time with the music, though. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's go. Eee, I just wanna go. Uh, wow. Veterans there? Okay. I'm still gonna do recruit, because screw that. I'm not killing myself today. I didn't mean to build there, but alright. I guess I'm here now. Not even in the dead center. So it's kind of not in the right position. There. Good enough. Oh no, he moved. Really? I wasted two shots. Okay, you're definitely dead. Bop. Bop. Okay, if I, if I don't like lose the grip of the freaking controls. I think I might be able to do this one way better. No, build. Ah, what the heck? The controls are a little slippy. In case you couldn't tell by me being kind of stupid seeming. But it's just because of the controls. Oh, that was really useful, thanks. I can't build here. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, really? Really? If I hadn't built that one three line there, I actually probably would have survived. Okay. The game kind of, like, treats you like an idiot, so I'm still going to be alive for a little bit. It's like, okay, maybe you don't get the game here. It's, te it's treating you like a freaking dink. Army Congress. I win somehow. It's 
still doing this noise. Okay, I get it. Okay. I also like how it says trackball, yet yeah, I'm using a joystick. Rider! Um! Fire! I missed. Okay, now that was freaking bad. Just period. That was just bad. Seize fire. Okay, let's see how bad it is. It's horrible. Could be way better than this. I'll tell you that. Oh, jeez, this isn't good. Please don't tell me he's gonna be like, surround the castle and stay alive. Like, I'm a freaking dink. Okay. Actually, wait. I live. I think. No, I don't. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that one space doesn't really need to be like, complete, shouldn't it, really? Now oh, whatever. Well, I already know that basically, the game is lost. I don't even have a high score on there, because Rampart's kind of hard for me. But, yeah, it's Rampart. Alright. Next on the docket is Road Blasters, and Road Blasters is pretty fun. I'm gonna check the thing. Indestructible demo mode. Difficulty, blah, blah, blah. Contest, track, t-shirt contest, sun and track mode. This is a lot of settings, well, but I'm not going to change any of them. Uh, let's look at some history. The Road Blasters logo. Very interesting piece of trivia. Okay, now this is something that looks really cool. It's fat, but it looks awesome. And the coin door is on the other side. So someone could, like, insert a credit and, like, scare you while you're going. It's like, what's that noise? The stand-up Road Blasters is capping <laughs> Why? Road Blaster Soul Sheet. I want. I'd love to sit in there and just drive along. Merry business of being a dingus. The back of the Road Blasters thing. Matchbox toys. The goal of the rally point at the border. Distributed by the cover of the Operation Pink. Pew. History no. Oh wait. Lyle Rains, designer of Road Blasters, at one time I'd hoped to include the 50s hit Mr. Sandman as the music for one of the levels. This surreal feature was never implemented in the final game. The games Road Blasters, Gauntlet, and Marble Madness were all created on the successful Atari System 1 coin-op game architecture. And that's it. That's all the trivia you get. You get wrecked. Alright, now, Road Blasters is kind of awesome, so... I'm really gonna enjoy playing this. I love Road Blasters. Okay. Let's listen. Let's see that demo. Road blasters in this generic stock font. Press pedal to start. Bop, bop. Yeah, it's a special kind of game where instead of just driving along, you shoot everything. Except it ain't Spy Hunter, like, top-down. This is a back perspective, and it's way more fun than Spy Hunter. At least in my opinion. To be completely honest, in, uh... Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits, Volume 1 on the Dreamcast, where the games are different, they should have not have had Defender 2 there. They should have had, um, Red Blasters. Either that or replace Moon P or replace um, Spy Hunter um, in the second volume with this. But these are the initials. It flashes the one who's in the top. Okay, T-shirt giveaway. Complete Rally 50 on Road Blasters. Record your personalized secret code. Send your entry to Atari Games Road Blasters T-shirt giveaway PO Box 361110, Milpitas, California, 950. Three five one 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 zero limit one price per person. Red for <laughs> void or prohibited. <laughs> really, they had to they had to pull that kind of card out for a freaking contest and an arcade machine. Whatever. So I'm gonna press R because that's the pedal. Expert veteran. I'm just gonna go to the easiest one because well, easiest. This is your stuck speed. 
Charlotte. I am happy to have that speed. Oh no. The controls are kind of slippy. Mostly because I'm not used to playing this. Like in a while. Like, holy crap. Okay, there we go. No! I want the extra points at the end of this level! Oh, the end's right over there. Bam! Shoot opponents for school. Go! Now I get a lot more points when I uh, shoot enemies, number one. Number two, while I'm just driving. Well, unless you crash like an idiot. Now I have a machine gun. So if I just can shoot one of these guys without, okay. Well, uh, there it goes. Really? I'm already at low fuel. I had to go into my reserve already. It's extremely embarrassing. I'm way better at this game than I should be. I'm not used to this game. I haven't played, I haven't played this game in a while. This game's really good. No. Go, 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 go. Go. Just go. Yes. Right at the end. Oh, you think? You think I don't know? You think I'm just a dang kid? You think I just don't know nothing? Ah, jeez! Oh my god. Wait, how the hell did I not slip on that? What? Steering be like. It's making that noise because I have a 10 times multiplier on my score. So basically every time I shoot one of them, it gives me a crap ton of score. Please? No! Alright, I'm gonna try it again. Feel empty. Press the pedal to continue. If you shoot, then you get through it faster. Start you off at O. Oh. I'm not gonna freaking take a stupid route where I just go on like level four immediately. That's dumb. I like to reach that level, especially considering I like the levels that are between, in between it, because that teaches you get these because they're good. Shoot enemies because they're not good if you touch them. You should also get the red dots if they ever drop them. And also, whenever the helicopter gives you a weapon, take it and don't freaking ignore it like a dink. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's one. Oh, look. There is one. Bam. Die already! Jeez. <laughs> that was morbid. Oh, really? Shoot opponents. Let's go. <laughs> I totally don't want to shoot you. Trust me. I bet the game announcer. The game announcer knows a lot. He's like the he's like a looking eye. Okay. Ah! Don't kill me like last time I got this freaking weapon. Basically, all this one does is it, is if you shoot things and you keep missing, it don't worry because it doesn't affect your multiplier. Mines ahead. Oh yeah, we don't want to be crashing into no mines. Especially no Minecraft. But I still keep the Uzi Cannon too. Okay. Shooting accuracy increases. Undisclosed things. Shooting accuracy increases undisclosed information. Oh, nice. That's really cool, man. Totally wasn't, like, blowing me out of the water right there. Ah! 
Am I not even gonna make it to level four unless I skip ahead to it? I swear. Really? There. There, thank you. Get away from him. No! No! It's right there! Feel empty. Press the pedal to continue. How about I shoot you instead? Literally, because it made me go here. Press trigger. Trigger. Hey, buddy, it's not a trigger. It's a button. Alright, I think one more on Road Blasters is going to be pretty good. Again, I'm not going there. That's dumb. I'm not cheating. I know the game's providing it to me, but I'd rather not. Especially considering I kind of got to get used to this game somehow. And by going through more tutorialized levels, I think that's the better path. Freaking dingus over here, freaking not being knowing how to shoot enemies. Thank you. Now I apparently know how to shoot enemies like a good person. But like how your car just juts in direction, just. Okay. No! Ah, really? Eight times score, really? Shoot opponents for school. My dude. My guy. You gotta shoot the opponents. And you get you get points. Nice. I like how you can crash as many times as you want. Just all that happens is that you waste a little bit of gas. Um reminds me of um what's the name of the game? Uh Oh yeah, Traverse USA. Or is, if you're in Japan, Zippy Race. There we go. This is better. Yeah, bonus fuel is different than extra fuel, because extra fuel with these green dots, they barely provide you with anything extra. But the red ones that get dropped by certain cars give you a lot. Alright, there we go. How many points how many points do these cars give out anyway? Okay, I'm level three again. This is the one where I keep screwing up. Don't lose the Uzi cannon. It's what gives you freaking points. Genius. Oh, screw it up. I'm going in puddles either. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so last time, I didn't sl slip on it when I thought I really should have. And this time, I slipped on it when I really think... I shouldn't have. Am I finally gonna make it? Yeah! That's a lot of reserve fuel. How's that? Now I'm gonna go a little bit faster. I'm gonna go a little bit more faster. Not too much faster. So. Now I can just do this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome! I died. There we go. Now I gotta find another enemy to shoot. With good- that isn't like a good position for me to shoot. Okay, good. Really? How did I miss him? Excuse me, her. It could be a her too. I'm- I'm dead. Now it's warning me that I have low fuel, thanks. Fine, fine enough. I got the high score. Goodbye. Goodbye, timer. Goodbye, timer. Okay, there we go. Initials. Alright. Thank you very much, game. And save. So thank you guys for watching me play more Midway Arcade Treasures for the GameCube. Um, check back next time and I'll play Robotron 2084, which I have played before on this channel, but I will still do it again. And a game called Satan's Hollow. So thank you guys for for watching and this is Creeper Dubro signing signing off. So stay tuned and take care.
拜。